6. It's an area of I-94 that's seen at least eight wrecks this year on the three-mile stretch between mile marker 67 and 69. Good evening and thanks for joining us on this Christmas. On our Facebook page, many of you commented on the amount of wrecks that have happened in that area over the past several months, with the crash involving the Kvalvog teens sticking out because of the young lives lost. Valley News Team's Cornelius Hawker spoke with two people who have spent a large amount of time in that area, but have different opinions on why so many wrecks are happening there. It has nothing to do with the design, the engineering of the roadway. It was just, again, a person that reached down, picked something up, took their eyes off the roadways, end up hitting the, uh, side, the shoulder of the road, tried to correct, end up overcorrecting, and then end up causing this crash. Sergeant Jesse Grabo says the information about wrecks on I-94 near Dalton are clear. Distracted driving has caused most of them. But Ray Kavalvog, the father of the two teens, Zach and Connor, who died on the stretch of that roadway last summer, says there has to be something more to it. You could argue the point that, well, it's, there's no more accidents here than some other place. But the fact remains that uh, in this past, what, six months, there's been, an, you know, an inordinate amount of accidents. And at some point, it has to be more than coincidence. The number of accidents that have happened on that three-mile stretch is now at least eight, including last night's rollover accident, according to Minnesota Department of Transportation numbers. The people on that accident survived, unlike Zach and Connor. Talking about other crashes other than the Kvalvog crash, uh, a lot of those involved, again, same type of thing, driver distraction, sleepy, fatigue drivers, that type of thing. So not anything to deal with the roadways and those other crashes. Again, those, it comes down to the, the other contributing human factors. Human factors aside, Kvalvog says this area of I-94 needs to be studied carefully and fixed. There continues to be accidents there and how many more lives or people need to be uh, crippled over something that could be corrected. I mean, it's just money. Um, spend the money, get it fixed. Cornelius Hawker, Valley News Live. Road conditions that have contributed to wrecks in that area of I-94 all include some form of rain or snow, according to the Minnesota Department of Transportation.